I've had a uh, number of uh, <clears throat> people tell me that uh, different states don't allow you to have your own rain barrels. They say that's against the law. They say that water isn't yours, that it needs to flow into the rivers and uh, so that uh, it can go on down the stream and the government one way or another can regulate it and or sell it, right? Your water that falls on your land in town, mind you, in town. Well, we came up this weekend looking at some bulls up here in Colorado, just the edge of Colorado. I went with the boss. They was too proud of their bull prices, so I uh, got to do a little sidestep, and I asked uh, the rancher if I could walk down this canyon. And here is a single, and we saw dozens of them on the way up. This is a earthen dam, just a ranch-built earthen dam. This canyon has water come down through it. That dam is 50 yards wide and 10 foot high. Now, and it's got the sides just about equal with the width of the dam about a half mile down here, and there's times when the water will go clear to the end. You know how many millions of gallons that adds up to? A bunch, I'm here to tell you. Rest assured that uh, this rancher is allowed to stockpile a million gallons of water, give or take, and yet they don't want you to have a barrel with 50 gallons of water in it to help water or to help feed your family or to give your child a garden? Come on. The same government that says here's free food and food stamps, in food stamps, but we don't want you to grow your own food. It might be dangerous. Are you kidding me? I've gardened for 50 years and my grandmother was gardening from the 1890s on. And I kid you not, not once, not once, did I ever hear of anybody not only not getting sick, but for darn sure nobody ever died from growing their own food on their own land. But this is a dam, and there's a bunch of them out here, and so that's millions upon millions, maybe even a billion gallons of water that the ranchers and the farmers get to stockpile so that they can use it any old way they want. But a town person with just 50 gallons or maybe 100 or like me, I'm one of the bigger ones that I know of that can collect up to 1,100 gallons of water off my roof, maximum, that's maximum capacity I have, but that 1,100 gallons, and it only takes one inch of rain off my roof to catch it and to collect that much. But just in case you think that they may have it right and that law is a good law, forget it. Now I did talk to some law enforcement in Colorado, ask them if they'd ever arrested anybody for that. I thought it was interesting what the law enforcement told me. They said, yeah, we know about the law and we refuse to enforce it. We refuse to enforce it. They said they can pass any law they want at the state capitals. That don't mean we're going to enforce them. And I reached out and I shook that cop's hand and I said, welcome to America. Welcome to America and freedom. I was walking uh, in a canyon here in uh, Colorado, and I noticed this, so I came up to it. It's an old homestead, an old house. I bet there's 300 bricks, red bricks. Mm. If I can get to it. Big old red bricks. What is red bricks worth on the retail market these days? Just going to waste, just laying here, and then another 20 years, 40 years, they'll be covered over and there won't even be that existence. And that had to be back in the uh, early 1900s because there's no roadways to get here. This is out in the middle of a pasture. But this house was a very nice place in its time. It wasn't very big. I'm guesstimating about 20 feet by 20 feet, which was about the norm for back then. But they survived. They survived. And perhaps if... Uh, the economy goes down and we have to go back to the dark ages, you could come to a place like this and have a lot of ready to build material to create your own new home, be it small as it would be. But uh, there's all sorts of stuff like this out in the pastures. That's why I say you're foolish to go to the state parks when there is so much to learn from the pastures and the ranchers, most of them, will let you on their land. Rate this film.